What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we're doing some more magic openings. We are getting prepped for War of the Spark, it's going to be absolutely insane. Uh, so we're going to be opening up a bunch of boxes from the, uh, basically the sets leading up to War of the Spark. And today we're starting Guilds of Ravnica, a very strong set, one that I'm very happy with. Uh, so we're going to see if we can't pull some Arc Light Phoenixes, or maybe some Assassin's Trophies, or some of those Shocklands. Uh, so, um... Yeah, War of the Sparks right around the corner, so let's get into it. Okay, Guilds of Ravnica. I feel like it's been quite a while since we opened some of these packs. I think um, opening Guilds is actually where I kind of started the channel at with some bundles. So it'll be good to get back into it. Fresh box. Let's grab that middle, middle column. 12 packs. Roll up our sleeves and let's get into it. Let's pull some shock lands. Again, that'd be insane if we can pull that arc light. All right, we'll go through maybe the first couple commons and then we'll kind of speed through it. We gotta maximize altitude, barging sergeant, 10 district guard, vicious rumors, crushing canopy, command the storm. That's pretty cool. A vapors, luminous bonds. A Ver Vernadi Shieldmate, a Piston Fist Cyclops, and then we have Electrostatic Shield, Glow Spore Shaman, Sun Home Stalwart, and Ooh, Pelt Collector. This was actually, um, I had a bit of a spec uh, speculation on this card, and uh, gotta say, it's uh, not, not turning out that well. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, I think that I would just say the card hasn't really moved. Uh, since I acquired a bunch of copies. All right, so actually, but however, to be honest, like that's not a bad start. All right, let's go on to pack number two. We have a memorist, a honorary goblin, skyline scout, vicious rumors, worm, prey upon. I feel like that was a pretty cool card when it came in. Um, uh, Innistrad, Mystic. A Lead Dev Champion, District Guide, Vivid Revival for the Rare. That should mean that we have. Oh no, just miscounted. Vivid Revival. So we got a bunch of green cards so far. And uh, I think at this point we could start speeding it up. We're going to jump right to the uncommons. And uh, let's hope for at least one mythic. Kind of just go through some of the some of the art comments do have some pretty cool art. Alright, enough of that. This is what we're here for. Necrotic Wound, a House Guild Mage, a Goblin Banneret, and then Dawn of Hope. Hmm. Right, where them where them shocks are where them shocks at all right rock charger sun home stalwart a conclave guild mage and then a omni spell adept this card I feel like some there was some speculation oh like this thing could be useful but I feel like that one fell very flat. All right, a Swarm Guild Mage from that Golgari, Sprouting Renewal, a Wand of Vertebrae. That is kind of disturbing. And then, ooh, all right, here's a Mythic. Pretty sure this is one of the uh, not so good ones. Pulled one of these before. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it. Uh, for each other instant or spell you cast before this, you may choose new targets for the copies. I feel like this is kind of, um, ooh, there we go, uh, what is the, there's a, the storm decks, like they kind of use this card to, basically it gives everything like flashback, so it feels very similar to that where you kind of like pay ahead of time versus just casting the cards again. Pass in flames, that's what I'm thinking about. We got a flower in flourish. 
Creeping Chill, Sinister Sabotage, and then a Erratic Cyclops. I feel like I pull this guy a lot. I feel like I have two version, two copies of him in foil, uh, which is not a very good one to have for our foil rare. All right. So far, while well, we did get a Mythic, I'm happy about that. Um, definitely wasn't one of the stronger ones. Uh, so hoping for a little bit more so for some better stuff in this opening. And we have a Charnel, Charnel Troll. Golgari Gilgit. All right, we're over halfway through. Still looking for some, some stuff to really bring us into make this a good opening. We got a True Fire Champion. I like that art. A Night Veil vale Sprite. Rampaging Monument. And then, ooh, Sacred Foundry. There we go. There's a Shockland. And, um, and then a Demir Gilgate. And Sacred Foundry is one of the better ones, so very happy with that. All right, so who's excited for War of the Spark? Um, let me know in the comments down below. What what uh, Planeswalker of all the spoilers do you find the most interesting? A Conclave Cavalier, Inescapable Blaze, and then ugh, Expansion Explosion. I think for me the the Karn sounds very interesting. It's a uh, plus ability, I feel like was not not too crazy, but I liked how you can just use his um, minus ability and he still has a, like, doesn't completely kill him. Uh, and then you can basically get whatever artifact you want from outside the game. So I feel like that could uh, make some very interesting stuff. Oh, Experiment Frenzy, not bad. And then is it Guildgate? Then, I mean, everyone's a fan of Jace, so that Jace looks pretty cool too. Just the, uh, it's kind of like a Lab Maniac built in. So that if you can mill yourself, then you can win the game. So I'm sure people are going to try to brew some crazy decks, some some cheap cheap ways to victory with him. So invert in invent. So I would say those two are the ones I'm most excited about, seeing how they turn out. Elysian Guild Mage, and then ugh, another one. Response and Resurgence. Followed by Boros Guildgate. Comes to what guild you belong to. I feel like I might belong to the Boros Guild. I think they're the one that kind of like try to maintain law and order, I think. Or enforce it. Whispering Snitch. Enhanced Surveillance. Uh, cir circuit just route. And then for our last pack, can we pull something good? We have a Venerated Loxton, so that's a no. <laughs> All right, so for the first part of our Guilds of Ravnica opening, we have a Sacred Foundry, very solid um, Shockland, and then a Thousand Year Storm, definitely one of the Meeker Mythics, but we'll take it. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, if you did enjoy the content, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, look forward to some more openings. Just we're going to probably uh, do finish up the core 19, uh, hit guilds, um, probably hit a Ravnica Allegiance. Um, just all in prep for War of the Spark. It's going to be insane. Uh, it's probably going to be one of the most successful sets uh, in recent magic history. So very excited about that. As always, thanks for watching guys. I'm a Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.